Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're at the Cambridge House International World Resource Investment Conference, June 2013, right here in Vancouver, Canada. I have with me David Smith, the senior analyst at the Morgan Report. David, welcome to SNN Live. Good to see you today, Shelley. It's good to have you. Please tell our audience what's on your mind today, David. Well, actually looking at the conference here with the tone of what's going on, what's on my mind is staying on the back of the bull market, which I believe is still in force. I don't think that it's even, my opinion, I think we're in the middle of a bull run, particularly in micro cap stocks. What do you think about that? I really agree with that, Shelley. I think the thing we have to do is, first of all, if you believe that, because that's the premise, then you go ahead and everything else becomes possible. Uh, in my view, you look at your portfolio and you get rid of what I call the bow wows. The dogs aren't going to bark anymore if they're not come back. Uh, even if you've down 90%, you sell those out, take what money you have left and add it to your other cash, and then you start looking for uh, the ones that I call best of breed, which are likely to be here throughout the rest of this bull run. So welcome to the dog show, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, there's a plenty of information, not only at the conference like this, but also online, uh, meeting the different management uh, people, going to the websites. And you use those filters and you find the ones that have cash in the bank, that have done uh, what they said they were going to do over the last few years, that not only survived 2008, but are likely to survive now. And then you very selectively start buying those uh, in tranches rather than all at one time. What do you think about the resource market, particularly the juniors? I think the juniors have a great deal of potential there. As Rick Rule was saying this morning, why would you not want to buy something that was at a 75% discount? And of course, you want to go and want to avoid the ones that will go to a 100% discount, which would be zero. But you buy a few of the really good ones, you buy them in levels, and you don't try to pick the bottom, and you have the staying power to last for a while until the next leg starts up. So what you're saying, and you agree with Rick Rule, is there is value in the resource market. You just have to know what you're looking for, and when you find it, take action. That's exactly right. And I would even recommend holding a very few of the exploration plays, which don't have income right now, but if they find something because of their depressed prices, could go up by a factor of 5, 10, or 20 times. And to me, that gets my interest for a small amount of my investable money that I may be able to uh, afford to lose if I'm wrong. I think the key thing that you said was that an investor, our database, our viewers, have to have staying power. Why is that? Because if you don't have staying power, and I, uh, I may have coined this term, maybe not, but I'm the first one I've heard say it, psychological capital. And if you do not have psychological capital, in other words, if you don't have the mental fortitude to get into these positions and hold on to them, then it doesn't matter if you've got 5 or $10 million in your bank account, you're not going to do very well. In fact, you may be finished. So you need psychological as well as actual physical capital in order to participate and stay in these markets until we end up with the next leg of the bull run, which I believe is really out there. There. It's a question of when, not if. Psychological capital, huh? And you, you want to take credit for the invention of that terminology? I may not have invented it, but I'm probably one of the first ones that came up with it. And I know how important it is because I've had my own issues over the years of running down that to the point where it was really hard to keep on going. And I don't want to let that happen again, so I try not to make those mistakes over and over. You know, I think you're on to something with that because I think there is a psychology and almost a, besides a science, there's, you know, obviously you have to know how to read numbers and you know how you have to know what to pick. And then you have to pick the CEO that you know is going to get you to the finish line. But and I think that's very psychological. So I agree with you. Let's summarize. What's your background? Well, I've been investing in the markets since uh, the last bull market in the 1970s. Um, I'm back now more involved in the mining stocks as well as the physical aspect. I work with David Morgan of the Morgan Report. I do a lot of ghostwriting on my own. And I'm totally fascinated with the resource sector market, and I put a lot of my own investable capital in it. And I really think it can change uh, lives for the better if you do it rationally and if you can stay around till the public mania phase, which I believe we'll see a few years down the line. And what is the website? The website where David uh, uh, does his productions is silver-investor.com, also has the Morgan Report, and he has a YouTube at SilverGuru22. So there's a lot of different ways to see David's writings, and I contribute to the Morgan Report on a regular basis. Ladies and gentlemen, David Smith, Senior Analyst 
at the Morgan Report. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the Cambridge House International World Resource Investment Conference, June 2013, right here in Vancouver. David, it's thanks been great for coming. speaking with you, Shelley. Perfect.